being the parent of like a little kid, I think has gotten a lot harder than when I was raising my daughter. She's 23 now. And ah, man, I got to tell you, the decisions you have to make and the things you have to monitor and protect your children from today has gotten a lot harder. What do you give them that's still entertaining, but also aligns with your values? You know, we've talked about Way FM being a product that you don't have to filter. But like if you got Netflix in your house, you got to have the filter on. And even Disney Plus, you have the same problem. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, Disney Plus has been disappointing to me as a parent and some of the things they've chose to put on there. And like, you got to watch it, you mm-hmm. know? And that's why it's so nice to have something. If I was raising little kids, I would do Pure Flix subscription, man, because you've got content on there that you're not having to filter out. And as a parent, I mean, I know we want to be involved in our kids' lives, but sometimes you need to park them in front of the TV and take <laughs> 10 minutes to yourself. That's why Pure Flix is a great option for uh, families. You got family stuff, obviously. They're even dabbling in some drama. Uh, yes, and uh, Pure Flix originals. Like, I saw the uh, movie on their uh, Strong Fathers, Strong Daughters, and I have to tell you. You cried. I, I did. There was three <laughs> times. Not once, three times. I did. I wept, and uh, I was moved, and it was a great movie. And I think if I was raising my child now, I think Pure Flix would be definitely a part of my family's entertainment plan. So if you'd like to try Pure Flix, text PURE, that's P-U-R-E, to 91979 to get your one-week free trial. Faith and Family Entertainment with no ads on your favorite devices. Welcome to the Wally Show Aftercast. All the stuff we did not get to during the course of the show today. Uh, one of the most unusual starts to an Aftercast we've had yet. Uh, we had some friends, uh, Megan and John, who were like, hey, can we come by? We're potties. We want to see the show. And uh, she checked back in with me this week. Are you still good? Like, totally good. Everything's fine. And so, come on. We'd love to have you. And then, all of a sudden, uh, Gavin tells me they're here. And I'm like, ah, oh, I got to go get my blood drawn today. And so, I went out, met them real quick, said hi, and I went and got my blood drawn. And and as you can see, I still have my bandage, mm-hmm. so I didn't lie to you. Yep. I okay. Were you even questioning that he was lying to you? <laughs> no, no. That was the fastest blood draw I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> yeah. They had to poke me three times the last time I got my blood drawn. Yeah, I and told, then I had to go back. Yeah, see, I told the lady. I said, "Look, uh, like I have people waiting on me. We got to do this well, and we got to do it the first time and and quick." And she did, and and it didn't even actually didn't even really hurt. But then I'm like, I have I've been fasting uh, for the whole show. Oh, no. I haven't been able to have any water. So brave. I thank you. I'm, it's, I, I hate the term hero when you guys call me that. Nobody said that. <laughs> Somebody's thinking it. And hero. So, thank you. <laughs> John, coming up clutch there, uh, as Gavin would say. Um, and so uh, I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop by Dunkin' Donuts and get my coffee. And uh, I asked them, you guys want anything? Because I didn't want to be rude. And so John just wanted a simple donut, and then they didn't have them. Like donuts were weak today. So the donut's a donut. The one you got. Also Are you fine. good? Yeah, okay, you're good. good. I got Gavin. Gavin, some coffee. I do appreciate that. I got Betty nothing uh, because Betty ate in front of me maliciously. That's okay. That's yeah. okay. I didn't want anything. I'm you did Okay, well, that's good. That's she is good. satisfied by the fact that she got to eat in front of you mm-hmm. while you were starving. Yeah. That's true. They did not have the cold foam I always get. <gasps> they tried to give me pumpkin cold foam, Oh. and I said no. We've been through this before. Do not try to substitute that. And then there was a little bit of a concern on my part because she turned her back to me. My order is really bad. It's like six pumps of caramel, six pumps of liquid cane sugar, six cream. And she asked me each time, are you sure? I said, yes, I'm sure, every time. But then... I saw her pick up the liquid cane sugar. There was no pump thing on it. And so she literally opens it and she turns her back to me and pours it in. <laughs> so I have no idea how much sugar is going in. So the I free was free pour. Right yeah, there. it really was. It's, she's like, it's like cocktail all of a sudden, like with Tom Cruise. You need Cruise. to eat something, not just yeah. drink a coffee on an empty stomach. Maybe. I'll have a donut. Maybe. And then, uh, and so, but it's so good. She did such a good job. Great. I'm like, yeah, you guys. It's got eight pumps in it. Mm. <laughs> doesn't matter. It's delightful, and I'm uh, ready to go for the day, ready to go for the show. Okay, so remind me, where are you guys from? We're from uh, Denver. Mm. Well, north, north of Denver, north actually. north of Denver but... in a little town called Erie, Colorado. Nice, nice. Well, now, what brings you down to uh, Nashville? We're celebrating our 10th wedding anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. That's so. that's not, that's a big feat anymore, you know? Yeah. And I like that. So we uh, left the kids with my parents. <laughs> And That's really good. Yeah. yeah we, really good. We, my daughter, we went on an anniversary trip one time later on, and my daughter went with us. And But she was older. Like, yeah. We're like, oh, I'll make it a family trip, and yeah. it's fun, you know, kind of anniversary thing. But man, when they're little, you got to get away. Yeah. You got to get away hard. Yep. Get three yeah. and it was hard to It was oh. hard to leave. But, really? Yeah. yeah. And John's like, it was not. It was, <laughs> it was not hard at all. Actually, so it wasn't hard to leave, but then like when we landed, 
I was like, do we have to vacation? Like, yeah. Can we go back? We, we did that. We went to Hawaii uh, and left my daughter with, with uh, my in-laws. And when we got there, we're like, this is great. And we, the first night, we, we felt weird without her. Uh-huh. You know, yeah. we're like, man, this doesn't feel right. And yeah. then I'm like, I'm like, no, but you, this is important, too. You got to mm-hmm. spend this time, too, you know. And then then after that, uh, we once we had uh, coconut, we, were, we, we forgot all about the fact that we had a child. <laughs> we, had coconut? Yeah, had a, <laughs> had, had a little coconut drink there, non-alcoholic, obviously. Oh. Uh, but in Hawaii, then, it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, okay, Haley, who? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in shock at first. I feel like, but um, I'm good now. Yeah. yeah. Are you guys? Are you guys still in the middle of your vacation? Or are you um, home? Yes. We're here till Saturday. So, so oh, nice. we started in Myrtle Beach for a couple days, actually, nice. and then came here. So. Nice. Well, we appreciate you guys stopping yeah. by and making Thanks this part of your us. anniversary. Don't bring your kids, but you come by and see <laughs> us. So we won't tell them that, but we thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for coming. Bye. All right, so Betty Rock, we're going to jump into this thing here. Um, yes. You uh, take and uh, you have Spotify for all of your uh, audio, right? Don't you, don't you stream Spotify? Is it yes. Yours? Yes. That's your choice? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, they have just announced that they are actually adding to their audio service. Uh, they are adding uh, books now, just like Amazon. Oh, And so you can okay. download audio books on your Spotify now. So, like Audible. Yeah, exactly. But you were just telling me the other day, you were like, oh, I um, am reading, sorry, listening to a book, you said. And so, yes. do you do it a lot? Yeah, No, because Audible, I honestly don't understand why anyone signs up for it, because to me, it's still expensive. Even yeah. if you do the subscription, it's $15 mm-hmm. a month, and you get one token. Yeah, one book. But you for $15. usually it is it is worth it. I think for people who are like speed readers or crazy rereaders. <laughs> yeah, uh, like my wife is constantly listening to Harry Potter, and so she like listens to Harry Potter like day after day after day, and just cycles through these books. Does that concern you? No, because okay. I I do it too. Okay, well, I I enjoy every bit of it. Concerns yeah, me. I so I kind of tricked the uh, well I don't say I tricked them. They <laughs> they fell for it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay. But for some reason, I got a email from them saying, "Hey, we'll give you two free tokens to try out Audible." And I'm like, "Well, I've already done it through this email, right. so they already know that email address. They're not going to give me two free and tokens." And they did, and they still did. There you go. So um, take that. I'm trying to use them wisely. It's one token good for one book, basically. Uh-huh. That's the thing for me. I read so slowly, and I didn't know. We were. It's so funny. We were talking on the show uh, with my wife on the live after. Not my wife. My mom on the live aftercast the other day. And my mom was like, "Oh, I'm dyslexic. I never knew that. I like. I, I, how old is you? Just found that out like yeah. yesterday. Uh, yesterday. I just. Oh, learned I that. just assumed that's where you got it. No, I now I now I know. She did this to me. She did a lot of things to me. Like, huh. yeah. Uh, but you didn't get her sweetness. Or I did her not. Kindness or a positive outlook you on everything. You just got the sweet I, tooth and the dyslexia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I didn't know that. But it takes me so long to read anything. A subscription service for an Audible book, even would, would you know, would be horrible. Like I, I'd never get through enough of it to to make it worthwhile. They said they are going to do it on. Right now, they're doing it with 300,000 titles, and they're doing them by the book. They're not doing a subscription service. So you buy it per e- per each one, basically. I wonder if. Oh. I wonder how much they're running yeah. for. I don't know. They didn't say yet because they're just now getting ready to come out. But I didn't know that only six to seven percent of the book market is audiobooks. I figured a lot more people would be doing that. You spend so much time in your car and commuting. Mm-hmm. I figured that'd be a big part of this. This is a world I don't play in. I like reading and education and smart things. I'm not living there much, and so this is all new to me. So you're saying only six to seven percent of what the library carries is audiobooks of all the or book market. Books written. Yeah, like so books written or people buying books. It, it, only six to seven percent of people are using audiobooks. I have a friend. Oh. He signed up for a service where he basically will. Choose audio or books that are wanting to become audiobooks, and he will like narrate them and mm. be the actual like person reading it because well, cool. he's got a good setup at home. And so he'll do that, and they'll pay him like per book that he reads, and then they decide how well he, he did. did. But they're usually like small books, like yeah. or, uh, not small books, but like unimportant children's books. books. Yeah. I could do. I could. I could be a voice for children's books that are less than twenty pages, and I would get through it. It would take me a good year to do a normal book of like a 300 page book if I had to read it. And the editing would be horrific. I would never be able to do that. I did a voice work one time for a 
jet airplane manufacturer, and it was about their new miniature jet propulsion system. And I had to read, oh my goodness, I don't even remember how many pages, 50 pages, 75 pages of all this technical stuff. And when I'm reading and I see all the letters getting all mixed up, it's a nightmare, and it took me forever. And I was doing all the editing myself too, mm. uh, so I so because I, I didn't want someone else to do it, and because I knew how long it was going to take, so I just like did it for days. Jeez, yeah, it that was doesn't horrible. sound like it was worth your trouble. Not at all, but it was kind of for a friend, so it's like you ah. do stuff for friends, and uh, it was not worth the money at mm. all for me. Um, but I did get an audiobook once, and I had all the intentions. We had a long flight; we were going to Africa, and so I'm like, okay, I'm going to listen to the Steve Jobs book. Okay, when that came out, I mean, this was great. So I get the audiobook, I get on the plane, earphones in, I can never sleep on a plane. I start listening to the audiobook, I am out. Like, nice. the audiobooks are amazing sleep aids. <laughs> like, I, I, that's, I can never, I can't sign up for any of these services because I will fall asleep every time listening to them. I know, it's so I know good. a lot of people that fall asleep to audiobooks. Yeah, they're I think so Gavin calming. even said his wife does with yeah, Harry Potter. That's what go we figure. do every night. <laughs> yeah, and then, but then, then you try to go back to where you were and you yeah, forget where no you were. Point. Yeah, I I mean, yeah, I, I fell impossible. asleep in small group the other night, and they were reading an actual book, the well, Bible. I mean, like, <laughs> when I'm working on puzzles or when I'm doing cleaning around the house or anything like oh. that, like I like to listen to something, yes. whether it's a podcast, music, or something. So I thought, oh, with these two tokens, I might as well use them. And so that's what I've been now doing. But it is hard to concentrate. Like, I'll catch myself zoning out, and I'll miss whatever it yes. was that they said. Yes. So I have to go back. But when I read, I do the same thing. I'll start reading the first paragraph and then my my head and my mind and my eyes check out for a little bit and I jump ahead to and I'll read the uh, like the last paragraph of the next page to just kind of see where I'm at and see if I need anything else and then I go back and read if something doesn't make sense then I go back and read what I need to. It is just it, it is horrific. That's why I hate reading so much. Like my I just it's always been a struggle. The fact that I graduated high school, finished college, and got my master's is a miracle. It is. It, I mean, it really is. But then again, didn't you say your wife had to read your books to you? Really? During college? She, uh, she read one book report I had to do. I had to do a book, and she read the whole book on our vacation to me as we drove. Uh, and, and I have a good memory for that wow. kind of stuff, and mm-hmm. I wrote my, my paper based on that. But yeah, I can't, I, I can't do stuff like that at all. So. But anyway, so good you know, news smart for you. Stuff. You know, smarticles. Books. Yeah, can't do so. that stuff. What do you got, Lady Rock? Oh, uh, well, Tim Allen, he's going viral on viral in the viral, viral world. on Twitter. Tim I wanted to say oh. I wanted to say TikTok, but it's not. It's Twitter. Um, so he's 69 years old. That Is was he kinda, really? Yeah, that he was kind of surprising. Been a good famous ages. But he said on his Twitter uh, the other day, he said Biden was on 60 Minutes. I heard he asked how long the show was. <laughs> Okay, it's a simple joke. So he was just making a simple joke right. about the president. But now it's going viral because people are wanting to cancel him, oh, saying stop. that what he did, Calm down. Uh, it sparked controversy, that it wasn't funny, it was disrespectful <laughs> and lame. And then one person said um, that this is why uh, he's irrelevant and he's washed up. This is why he wasn't asked to voice Buzz Lightyear. Who, Biden? Oh, no. no. <laughs> See, the same statement, though. See, exactly. It See, works. It's a joke. You'll Everyone be canceled. Can, yeah, I please can Cancel me. Everyone, <laughs> you'll survive. I would love to hit title. the level of being canceled nationally. Like, if I ever was that big that I got canceled for a joke like that, I would love that. I would be like, well, fantastic. The thing in that, I think, circle is that you're going to be canceled by one half of the world, but right. you're just going to be revered by the other half Absolutely. that supports you. Yeah, like, cancel culture is one of those things that a lot of times it will help the person that gets canceled. Look at Morgan Wallen. Oh, my goodness. How did that happen? Like, I don't know how that dude came yeah. back from that. But also, too, I think with Tim Allen, isn't he known to have, like, he's definitely left side? Like he's uh, Right. He's right. Yeah. Oh. Tim, he had, Tim Allen's a Republican. Yeah. He had the entire show Last Man Standing. That yeah. was very but he like was a Democrat. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. No, huh. he's he's Outspoken. he's definitely uh, on on the right. And so yeah. So then you're making fun of the president, and then people people get all indignant, and they're like, "You're making fun of the office of the president." Watch Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and how much did you laugh when they made fun of Trump? You know, like <laughs> I and guess they, it's expected on SNL, right. but, but not they, with Tim Allen. But they skewered Trump. Like and like and 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 I'm and again I'm not. 
not a Trump fan or supporter, but they skewered him and lambasted him. They don't touch Biden at all. They barely touch Barack Obama. And uh, and so, like, I love it when Democrats get incensed over something like this and like, you're making fun of the office of the president. Really? Re- you're really upset about that uh, because that's what, the, like, they do to Republicans all the time. Like, they're just fodder for uh, political lampooning, you know? I think you need something in your stomach. Oh, I need some more uh, coffee. Yes, I'm I good. love that phrase though. Fodder for the political lampooning. Yes, thank you very much. How many people would understand that sentence? That's, it's a pretty good sentence. Well done. Uh, there you go, John. Uh, our friend John's like, I get it. I see. <laughs> there you go. Um, but I think that when we get so offended, comedy is one of those things that you have to have the ability to make fun of things. You have to. You know, th- that's the irony. Is like that's the struggle inside of. Christian radio for me is that comedy has a victim and you tease each other and stuff. And I mean, we get emails from people that are like, you're so mean to Betty Rock or Betty Rock's so mean to you or whatever. And it's like, no, we're friends and we tease each other. It's okay. You know, at the end of the day, there's never any maliciousness and it's fine. But I, I get what you're saying, but I think people, people agree with you, but they're saying like SNL. Like that's expected. Right. Like nobody's gonna. But Tim Allen is a and, comedian. Oh, I agree. But he's on his Twitter and he's right. saying these things. And I think people are saying Twitter is not the place to do that, or it's not well, your <laughs> ability. Is the to, only it's, place people it's, do that. It's yeah. not your your stance to do but these kind of Twitter things. Was like, like the, SNL is expected. It's not from him. But Twitter was like the safest place on like God's green earth to like tear Trump. To oh, shred. for sure. It's just an unpopular place for I think like right. People right. and exactly. Republicans to try and make fun of, you know. Yeah, if you're, Joe if, Biden. you're if you're on the left, yeah, Twitter's great for you because that's where you get to be righteously indignant about everything. Um, and so I, th- I just, but again, like to the comedy point of this, comedians. That's what they do is they make fun of different things and they point things out. And if you don't agree with them, you don't agree with them. That's fine. You know, like if you don't like that comedian, fine. Don't, you know, don't buy their, you know, comedy albums or whatever you do. You know, don't go see them live and stuff like that. But when we get so offended by everything, like I've never, I can't, I I mean, I can't think of a time, like I I might not agree with somebody, but I can, I cannot think of a time where I was like, we have to mobilize and we have to cancel this person. Even if they're diametrically opposed to everything I believe in, I still don't believe in that. I think that's worse, you know? And a lot of times too, if you look at it, like Gavin was saying earlier, you, you think you're canceling them. And a lot of times you actually embolden the opposite side of you, uh, uh, you know, from you. And all of a sudden you've, you've helped them in a lot of ways that that's happened more and more. That's been the really weird side of cancel culture, which has been, it's benefited some people for sure. So anyway, I like Tim Allen. It's so funny. The day before we did a thing about how he and Tom Hanks were having breakfast and now all of a sudden Tim Allen's a villain, you know? Yeah. A minute ago they were all like, it's so great. To some. Yeah. Not everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, you got some birthdays for me? I do. I have two. Olivia, she she celebrated a birthday yesterday. We weren't able to um, celebrate because we had Wally's mom uh, Mm -hmm. on the aftercast. My mom ruined Olivia's birthday. And Uh, I would never forgive her, Olivia. Wow. I wouldn't put it that way. You know what? She's going in a home today. (laughs) Oh, I forgot she listens. She's I at, love you. I love you, Mom. She listens to the Aftercast, too. Isn't she at your home? It's so fun. Yeah, she's going to my home. That's what I meant. Uh, it's funny, because my, my mom listens to the Aftercast, and my wife does not. <laughs> it says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, Wyatt wants to wish his dad, Nick, a happy birthday. He's celebrating today. Said he's funny, cool, and has a bunch of Nikes. Nice. Uh, loves football, Star Wars, and Marvel, and is the best dad in the nice. world. Nice. I love to hear kids love their parents, because it's like one of those things where, you know, it's it's cool to not like your parents and your parents are so uncool and stuff and I just want my daughter to love me forever you know and, and is that and, why you buy her a lot of things? yes absolutely <laughs> you will buy her love that's why I buy you breakfast I just want you to love me Rock it's not working I know I'm, I'm going to have to buy you more apparently <laughs> um, so Wyatt has a question yes would you rather always have the newest iPhone or a free fast food meal every week oh that mm, that's easy free fast food because that because it adds up on you and it's something that I love. I'm three years back in my iPhone and everything's fine. I don't. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I see. Con- pros Do you remember Chick Fil A? Do you remember Chick Fil A when know, you had Chick Fil A for a year? Do you remember I know. that? It definitely adds up on you for sure. You walked around here like you were a Kardashian. Again, like you when you, I had the when you had plus, the, when yeah. you had the uh, free meal every week. She was like, oh, "Hello, peasants." Yeah, uh, yeah, because it was truth. Yeah. <laughs> um, but with the iPhone. 
I mean, I, I, if I had a free, I think the the problem is is that I know I'm making a bad decision <laughs> when I choose fast food mm-hmm. for that day. I know it's not good for my body, but then do you really believe? Like, do you really think that? Do you when yeah. you when you go to a fast food place it, in your head? Yeah, it goes through your head like, man, I really should be not eating this. Yeah. I've what? never had that. I don't never. think I have Haven't either. Haven't you read anything or seen anything that says fast food is bad for you? No, no. Like you're lying. Well, well <laughs> I know. Well, no, I know it's bad for me, but I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't second guess my thoughts. Now, if I had been at McDonald's in the morning, Chick Fil A in the afternoon, and Burger King at night, then yeah, I probably would look at that as I might have a problem. <laughs> uh, but like, if I'm just there, it's, it's just an interesting mindset. Like I don't. I don't think like, oh, this is bad for me. I just think I can't wait to yeah. get this I think, in my stomach. I think the guilt, I feel the guilt when I make the decision, per se, that I'm going to mm-hmm. go and that's eat interesting out. Too. Like, and, and that's only from a guy who's you know trying to lose weight. Right. I, I felt a little bit bad for, not bad, but you know, Chad brought in a wonderful breakfast for Betty and I. And Which, the, by the way... <laughs> By the way, by the way, Gavin started off with me strong, solidarity, brothers in arms. He's like, you know what, Wally? Betty walked out of the room because Betty ate in front of me and had no qualms about it whatsoever. Because no. I was fasting. Remember that? That's uh, your personal decision. I know. No, it's not my decision. I had to. I'm getting my my blood drawn. Well, it's not, not like I a religious didn't say fast. it had to be today. So she's just like, I'm going to eat, and then and she she bought into Chad's joke and went all in. And Gavin, Wait a minute. What? listen, what? If you if let's say the tables had turned I would not have eaten. No, you're not hearing me. Sorry. So let's say you bought breakfast for Gavin and I. Yes. But Chad was the one that was fasting because he's got to get his blood drawn. Sure. And we were like, no, we're gonna hold in solidarity for right. him. Right. Would you be mad at us? No, we don't we, no, not at all. I but we You'd don't be work disappointed? In, no, not at all. We don't work in the same What room if it with was him? Gavin? Well, wait, what if it was Gavin? Yeah. He bought us breakfast. Yeah. No, he didn't buy, buy Chad bought us breakfast. Yeah. Bought you but two breakfast. You, oh, okay. you were the one that was holding out in solidarity. Would you hold out? Yeah. I, I've, I've held out in solidarity it's before It's easy with Gavin. for you to say no. when you don't have to do okay, it. Okay, no, here's the deal. You would so, not. You'd be go back there eating your taffy no, in secret. I would sneak not. Sneak into the bathroom. Not if I said it out loud. If I said it out loud, I would <laughs> I would, I would. would definitely stick to it. If I, My word is my bond. If I say it, I'm going to stick to it. But then again, I said it out loud, yeah. didn't stick to it because right. I ate an hour you're before. Because you're weak and a small. But you're you a small also man. told me wow. yes. it's okay. You made it this long. Thank you so much, son. Yeah. Go go get I, yourself some breakfast. So once again, you just nope. you just you just <laughs> contradicted yourself because you said my word is my bond. What right. I say, I mean. Right. Well, you said great job, and then he leaves the room, and you just berate him. Oh yes, absolutely. Uh, so <laughs> do you see the contradiction? No, I do not. Uh, so, okay. All I see is the betrayal of you uh, <laughs> eating without me, and then Gavin. When you walked out of the room, Gavin goes. I'm going to not eat either with you. Solidarity. I'm like, yes, good job. And yeah, then, but see, he got your hopes up and then disappointed you. I me, And you I still got s- me a coffee. I know. See, me, that's the kind of man I, I am. I set the bar uh, high. Yeah, I yeah. set it low. Standards I'm a good man. are low. Yeah. And so- Expectations uh, are low. Yeah, I was a little disappointed. Gavin, that was a test for the record, too. It's kind of like- And you failed. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you know, no, you do what you need to do. You do what's right. I love doing that to my wife. My wife will give me like a choice of things. Well, should we do this or do this? Or should I do this or do this? I go, well, do, just do whatever you think's best. And she's like, I hate when you do that. Because she knows the answer, like, and it's usually the one I want. Uh, but she hates that. So you do whatever's best. When we, I don't when, regret it. When we met, uh, yeah, it worked out well for you. You even got a coffee because yep. I'm a sucker. Um, when we went to Disney and we had done all of the slideshow the other day, it was funny because we, we showed a picture of uh, Haley and her new boyfriend. And when I met him, I was like, oh, and just so you know, everything is a test. <laughs> you know, I just, I said, I want to be very clear with you. Every reaction, everything you do, I'm watching everything you do, and it's all a test. So relax, and, and it's going to be fine. We're going to have fun. But everything you do, I am scrutinizing and judging. <laughs> Healthy. Honest. <laughs> so you know where you stand with me. Uh, was that our last one? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you know, with that, I think uh, we made it. I've got lots of coffee to get through. Uh, Megan and John, thank you so much for coming yes. by. Uh, our friends from Colorado. And uh, that's going to do it for your aftercast. And as always, thanks for being a potty.